Hello, and welcome to Skyline College. This video will show you how to register for classes at Skyline College. To add drop classes, you will need to log into your WebSmart. To access your WebSmart, open up your browser and type in www.skylinecollege.edu. You should end up on our college's main landing page. On the upper right-hand corner, click the grid button. From the dropdown, select WebSmart. You will proceed by logging into your My SMCCD. If you are a new student and have not set up your My SMCCD account or password, scroll down and click on the first time login tutorial page under For Students. Here, you'll find step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up your My SMCCD account. Once you've set up your account, using your username and password, continue by logging in and clicking Login with My SMCCD. Type in your username and password. Using the top navigation bar, select Student. Your WebSmart will look a little different and will include less tabs. Continue by clicking the first link that says Registration. On this page, you can do a couple things, such as checking the time and date you are eligible to register for classes, add drop classes, look up classes to add, view your schedule, and view and pay your student fees. To check and see if you're eligible to register for classes or your registration date, click check here for the time and date you may begin registration. Select a term, and in red will show your registration appointment date which is the date and the time you may begin registration. If you do not have a registration date, make sure you've completed all of your enrollment steps, assessment, orientation, and have met with an academic counselor. You also may not have a registration date assigned to you because of a hold from previous terms or your current academic standing. Be sure to check on that as well. To register for classes, click Student, Registration, and now click on the third link that says Registration Add Drop Classes. Be sure to have the course reference numbers or CRNs ready. Continue by scrolling toward the bottom of the page and enter in each CRN in the following boxes. You can enter up to 10 CRNs all at once. Once done, click Submit Changes. You should see the classes you're registered for, including the outstanding balance, which you are responsible for. Otherwise, you will get dropped for non-payment. If a class is waitlisted, you will need to add yourself onto the waitlist. This does not guarantee you a spot in the class. If there is any movement on the waitlist, you will receive an email allowing you to log back into WebSmart and register for the class within a 24-hour period. It is important to take action within the 24-hour period, otherwise you will lose your spot and the system will move on to the next student on the waitlist. You will also be able to see your number or spot within the waitlist make sure to, cl to click Submit Changes after selecting Waitlist. You may also receive additional messages saying that you do not meet the prerequisites for this course. In that case, you will need to ensure you've completed any courses required prior to registering for that course or placed at the appropriate levels. 
For more information regarding prerequisites, including how to meet or be cleared from these prerequisites, you can click on the Skyline College prerequisite information link. If you receive a message saying that the course you're trying to add has a cohort restriction, that means the course you're trying to add is tied to one of our learning communities or to a specific program. You'll need to contact the instructor. To pay, view, or set up a payment plan to pay for your classes, you can click on any of the following links. To drop a course on the same page under current schedule, select the class you wish to drop and under action from the drop down, select drop before class. Again, make sure to click submit changes. 